Thank you for your time. My name is Betula, and this is Food for Thought. There's something I'd like to read to you. The process of breathing, if fully understood and experienced in its profound significance, could teach us more than all the philosophies of the world. Lama Govinda. Spirituality isn't a trend. It isn't about believing or faith or gaining a new personality, vocabulary, wardrobe, buying crystals or doing yoga. It's about rediscovering and returning to our natural state while exploring profound questions about life and meaning. Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain. But you feel it. You felt it your entire life. That there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there. Like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. The matrix is everywhere. It is all around us, even now in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. That you are a slave. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage into a prison that you cannot taste or see or touch, a prison for your mind. Sooner or later, you're going to realize, just as I did, that there's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. I'm trying to free your mind, but I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. You have to let it all go, fear, doubt, and disbelief. Free your mind. Morpheus, the Matrix. What if I told you that your entire civilization is rooted in beliefs of separation and fear that hide reality from you? That you have been raised since childhood to work as a drone in a system that is built as a tool for the upper classes to expand and maintain their power? Where nature, your true mother, has been enslaved as a resource to be plundered rather than a sacred being to be loved and honored. This is the matrix. And while not a movie, it is just as unreal. In combat, one should be rough and reckless, not so in everyday affairs. Nabashima, Naoshing. To be intimate is to feel the silence, the space, that everything is happening in Aryashanti. The, wor <clears throat> the world said we could become whatever we want. So become you. Small daily improvements are the key to staggering long-term results. The sky is not your limit. You are. Do not go gentle into the good night. Rage. Rage against the dying of the light. Dylan Thomas. It was the quest for the weird that brought me so far, Terence McKenna. In a time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act, George Orwell. When the doors of perception are cleansed, we will see things as they truly are, infinite, William Blake. Life is filled with unanswered questions, but it is the courage to seek those answers that continues to give meaning to life. You can spend your life wallowing in despair, wondering why you were the one who was led towards the, the road strewn with pain, or you can be grateful that you are strong enough to have survived it. J.D. Strobe. Love, what is simple and beautiful. These are the essentials. Ralph Waldo Emerson. If there was one life skill everyone on the planet needed, it was the ability to think critically, objectively. Josh Lanyon, 
dispassionate objectivity is itself a passion for the real and for the truth, Abraham Maslow. If you go home with somebody and they don't have books, don't fuck them, John Waters. Unfetter your mind, Takwan Soho. When faced with a challenging situation, put your mind completely in tune with the present moment. Your thoughts must cease to exist, leaving only observation, accurate understanding, and purposeful action. Walk a mile to avoid a fight. Should one start without possibility of egress, don't back down one fucking inch. Finish it. Formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune. Jim Rohn. A strong man cannot help a weaker man unless the weaker is willing to be helped. And even when the weak man must become strong of himself, he must, by his own efforts, develop the strength which he admires in another. None but himself can alter his condition. James Allen. Never apologize for being correct or for being years ahead of your time. If you're right you, and you know it, speak your mind. Speak your mind. Even if you are in, in a minority of one, the truth is still the truth. Mahatma Gandhi. Love all. Trust few. Do wrong to none. William Shakespeare. If you learn to really sit with loneliness and embrace it for the gift that it is, and an opportunity to get to know you, to learn how strong you really are, to depend on no one but you for your happiness. You will realize that a little loneliness goes a long way in creating a richer, deeper, more vibrant and colorful you, Mandy Hale. I don't really want to become normal, average, standard. I want merely to gain in strength and the courage to live out my life more fully, enjoy more, experience more. I want to de develop even more original and more unconventional traits. Ananis Nin. Thank you for your time.